Israel has existed for thousands of years, but as a country, it is still very young. In fact, the Jewish state celebrates the 66th anniversary of its founding today. And a unique project is underway to preserve the history of Israel's early years by recording the memories of those who lived through them. CBN News Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell brings us this look at the Israel Chronicles. The project is called Toldo Israel, which means the Chronicles of Israel, which is a project which is dedicated to recording the first-hand stories of people who were either involved in Israel's War of Independence or the pre-state era or simply witnesses to different aspects of the founding of the state. Executive Director Arye Halevni says many interview subjects don't understand that their story is special. They don't see themselves as heroes. They said, look, what was I supposed to do? This was just this is just what, what we needed to do at the time. Elad and Zimra Pellet met in 1946 in the Palmach, the Jewish pre-state defense, and they married during the War of Independence. Elad was 20 years old, and he commanded Sfat, which is a very complex community, and he did, he did it successfully. So far, the project has interviewed 700 people, logging 3,000 hours of interview time. They're hoping to get several hundred more interviews, but since that generation is aging, time is running out. Some of these personal stories have been turned into short documentaries, like this one about the historic UN vote that created the state of Israel. You spoke to the Belgian, and you spoke to the Swede, and you spoke to the Brazilian, preaching, uh, explaining why all the time. There were a number of us working at the same time also on uh, getting votes. We sent down to Haiti a Protestant minister by the name of Sheldon, who was also believed that the Jews should have a homeland. The material will be housed at Israel's National Library, and people can also access it online. The Pellets hope the project will help teach the younger generations. People don't know the history of this country. Many days when we went to bed, we didn't know if we'll uh, get up in the morning still alive. And, and if the, this whole so-called country will survive. In our generation, we talked about we and not I. In this generation now, individualizing everything, they lose a lot. When people try, try to complain, this is bad, that is bad, uh, we, had, we had worse situations already, and we overcame it. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.